Yes, my dear. One question. Maybe it's a strange question, but what happens if you reverse one and two? Put the two to one and the two and the one to two. Uh, why don't you clarify the question okay. a little bit more? Maybe, so I, you said, I know where you're coming from. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to clarify the question. Maybe I just. You understand my question? Or? Yeah, I wish to have a little bit more. Okay, clarified. I tried. I tried. You said the first step is to have universal love. Yes. And the second step is to realize that you're not on top of the mountain. You're, you're really. Uh, something is higher than you. Number two. I don't, I don't remember number three. Mm -hmm. Falling in love with it. Okay, that's the highest. Mm -hmm. We put that aside a little bit, okay? Because that is too high. But if you reverse these two, realize first that you are not really... Uh, that you're not really... Yeah, that's yeah. a valid approach. It, it's possible. Yes, it's a valid approach. As a matter of fact, the two things go hand in hand. Yeah. But in my talk, they came sequential yeah, okay. in the understanding. In, in, in Sanskrit, the first realization is Brahman, second is Paramatma, and third is Bhagavan. But factually, Paramatma is always involved, even while you are still on a very low... T As a matter of fact, Paramatma is always involved because he's like your inner guide. And so if you pay attention to him, he tells you, go up there, go to universal love. So you can't really uh, uh, escape. You really take them it. apart. Yeah. They're both always there. But there's a, uh, there's a possibility of not accepting that higher powerhouse while still trying to climb up on the mountain. Some people try that. Humanistic, for example. Humanistic uh, those ethics. Who, those values. who uh, who do not accept that God has any active involvement. Atheists, for example. Mm, some, no, if they want to go up that mountain, they already expect something is there, but they, they're not very defined about it. They're not submissive towards this possibility. Because in this world, we are all, everyone for himself, no? So how are you going to turn this mentality of everybody for himself into no I'm now under the guidance I'm I'm going towards my eternal commitment in love that's like mm. it's a lot to swallow mm. therefore the Lord of love teaches you thereby saying okay if you want to love me first love your mother Love your father, love mother nature, love the animals, love everybody. Understand that love is really the supreme driving principle of yourself. Then we talk about our relationship. Because the, the, the relationship with the Paramatma, it's uh, very intuitively and of course that's, it's a very individual personal relationship. We can't generalize it either. So therefore I say, you're right, they are going hand in hand, these two. And your appreciation, uh, I mean, even your, your appreciation is very appreciated. <laughs> mm -hmm. Even the fact that you have accepted to climb higher and to reach universal love, you have already submitted yourself to that higher power that tells you this. Also true. So that is the first level. Also true. The first level. Yeah. Yes. Otherwise, where come, does it come? I don't accept if uh, some authority tells me to be loving if it's not coming from the source. I don't care. I'm too much a rebel, you know? <laughs> but if it comes from God, then okay, I, I surrender. <laughs> <laughs> so rest assured, it comes yes. from Him.